Hello BC, this is Tim. I'm sorry I haven't made a video for a while. I've been busy, just like a lot of people have. And I've gone behind on my music listening and of course gone behind on watching videos. I've been trying to, but it just gets rough at times. But because we're falling behind on all that, I decided I'm going to start presenting my uh, showing my music uh, differently. I'm going to show you all my uh, music show A through Z, starting with my vinyl, then my uh, cassettes, and then my CDs. And when I, I keep uh, purchasing more, looking at more, I get, like I said before, I get most of my stuff in. Uh, like Goodwills and uh, Salvation Armies and flea markets and garage sales. And when I get enough to uh, to uh, have an update, I'll do the update. It will be just for those in the categories I've shown before that. And so uh, I'll start, start it up tonight and uh, hopefully I'll be able to have the uh, post videos a little more often. And I've got a message that I can have videos longer than 15 minutes now, so if it runs longer, I'm sorry about that. Just please bear with me. I know I have a number of albums that is why I'm not showing you tonight. So with that said, I'll start showing you them. As you can tell by the title, I don't have any AAs. So. <coughs> Get some of my albums here. I'll start with the uh, 80s. The first one is I keep the glare here so you can see it without much of a glare. Abba Waterloo. Of course, it has a uh, song, song Waterloo on it. And that's uh, while the music still goes on. Honey, honey. And Ring Ring. It's uh, on Atlantic from 1974. Next is out of the album. It has Take a Chance on Me and the name of the game. And I also like the song Ego on it. It's on Atlantic from 1977. This one has one of my favorite songs by Abba on it. That's the title track. That's uh, Super Trooper. Uh, I just love that song for some reason. It also has The Winner Takes It All and uh, Andante Andante and Lay All Your Love On Me. This one's, uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's 1980, if I remember correct. Right. Trying to see the year on the back here. Uh, like I said, I get a lot of my albums in thrift stores and stuff. Yeah, it's 1980. I get a lot of my albums in thrift stores and uh, covers aren't always the greatest. Okay, this one I, I bought brand new when it first came out. It's added the singles the first 10 years. It has well, most of their hits on it. It uh, was released in 82. It's a two album set, Gatefold. And it's also on Atlantic. Okay, to show a big difference in the type of music I have, this next group is. ACDC, High Voltage. Of course, it's uh, from 1976. Uh, on, uh, okay, it's. Uh, this is on the Yellow Echo label. It has. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Got the Jack and TNT on it. And 74 Jailbreak with the sound Jailbreak on it. And I also like Baby Please Don't Go. The 74 Jailbreak this was released in 1984. I got when it was uh, first released. 
I did see ACDC back in 1979 with Bon Scott. Uh, uh, first was a group before them that was pretty much booed off the stage. And then was ACDC, then UFO with Michael Schenker on the guitar, and then Nazareth, and then Hart. That was Mississippi River Jam 2, and uh, it was in Danport, Iowa. Boy, was it the rockin' that day. Next up, I have Brian Adams. For, uh, this one is Cuts Like a Knife. It's on Am Dem Records. It's from 1983. It has the songs The Only One, Take Me Back, This Time, Straight From the Heart, Cuts Like a Knife. And then I'd like to sign the best was yet to come off this one. Next is Reckless from uh, 1984. Of course, Brian Adams again with the One Night Love Affair. She's only happy when she's dancing. Run to you, heaven. Somebody, Summer of 69, Kids on a Rock, Saw Me Love. We're on this whole album was hit. Think of that, that. And then last of the Brian Adams I have, The Sense of the Fire. It's also on A&M Records. It has Heat of the Night, Victim of Love, Hearts on Fire, and it has the Sign Rebel on it, uh, on uh, Dr. Daughtry's uh, album, uh, uh, After the Fire, or with After the Fire on, uh, uh, he sings the uh, cover of the song level from this. This next one, it's the only Aerosmith album I have, and it's one that I think everybody should have in their collection. I uh, got turned off of Aerosmith some after the 70s. I like that early stuff the best. But that's uh, Toys in the Attic, of course, with the Toys in the Attic, Walk This Way, Sweet Emotion, and then, of course, you can't forget uh, uh, the 10 inch record. This is on CBS from 1976. Oh, wait, correction, 75. Must need new classes. Next up, a uh, mellower group from uh, the 80s that's Air Supply, Lost in Love. This album's from 1980. It has Lost in Love. All Out of Love, Every Woman in the World, American Hearts and Chances on this one. Grabbing the stack. It's this uh, Air Supply, the one that you love. Uh, with the uh, uh, signs uh, on it, the one that you love, Sweet Dreams. It's mainly those two on it. It's uh, from 1981 on Arista Records. That other one was on Arista also from 1980. And then Air Supply's Greatest Hits on Arista Records from 1983. That pretty much has most of their hits on, not quite all of them. I will touch on some of my countryside. First one by, I think around the first or second one by this group, Alabama, My Home's in Alabama, Tess's on My Home's in Alabama, Why Lady Why, Tennessee River. It's on RCA and it's uh, from uh, 1980. Or Alabama Roll On with the song Roll On 18 Wheeler on it. Uh, if you're uh, going to play in Texas, you got to have a fill in the band. That song's a classic, of course. And it's on RCA from 1984. The next one is 40 Hour a Week by Alabama. It's uh, on RCA from uh, 
1985, a test song for the hour for a week for a living. Uh, it's, uh, well, I, I like a lot of these uh, Alabama albums. They're one of my favorite country groups. I don't like much newer country stuff. Okay, more Alabama. Uh, the Touch, it's from, uh, let's see, I'm trying to find, 1986. It has, You've Got the Touch and uh, Touch Me When We're Dancing. It's more Alabama, uh, just us. It's on RCA. It's from 1987. It has Tartop on it. That's all the Alabama I have on final. Next is uh, a group that a lot of you out there have. This is one I got at a flea market for a dollar. That's the Almond Brothers uh, Band Light uh, at Fillmore East. Of course, the double album has set, Gatefold. The cover might not be in too good of shape, but the uh, final is in very good shape on this one. Next, another gatefold, one loser draw. Oh. Of course, the first one's I uh, have come or used to sign Cabot. Capricorn, oh shoot, I don't see a date on here. I'll have to check that later. Like I said, next is Swing User Draw, Gatefold. And let's see. It's uh, on Capricorn from 75. And last, my Owen Brothers on vinyl, uh, this Lightning Groves. It's on Capricorn from 79. The has the song Crazy Love on it. Date pulled again. Next up, this is one I got at uh, Antique Store, but I got because the, the vinyl's in excellent condition, the cover's in what's torn up shape. That's uh, Ambrosia 180. It has the songs. Uh, you're the only woman and biggest part of me on it. It's on uh, uh, it's um, Warner Brothers and it's from 1980. Okay, now we're to my America collection. First one it's just one album, but it's trifle. That's America Homecoming. Well, just opening it up. Oops, other way around. You can see it. Hopefully the glare's not too bad there. And on this one, half the songs have Ventura Highway, Don't Cross the River, Only in Your Heart, on it. Big ones. Okay, this one is America Holiday. It has uh, Tim Man, Lonely People, on it. It's not in the greatest of shape. I'm going to need to replace it sometime, but. Oh well. Next is just not around my favorite American album. That's uh, Parts. Uh, it, uh, it's on Warner uh, Brothers from about 1975. It has Daisy Jane, uh, Woman Tonight, 
Sister Golden Hair, but I also like so many other songs on it, especially the song the Story of a Teenager. Next is History of America's Greatest Hits. Of course, it has made a bunch of their hits on it. Okay, and uh, America Hideaway. That this is uh, the one with Today's a Day on it, and it's on Warner Brothers. It's from 1976. And the last album I have to show you is the Dark of in Concert. It's on Capitol and I'm trying to see what it's from 1985. Well until that's all I have to show you tonight. I'm go, like I said, I'm going to try starting to make videos again more often. But, but until next time, uh, take it easy and keep on rocking. Okay.